Hello and welcome back to this week's tutorial. Um, I just want to say the work that you guys have been doing is absolutely fantastic. The amount of work I'm getting in, it's just brilliant. Um, keep it coming. Here are the best ones. Now is my time to shine. Let's when your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is overnight, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Play the intuition upon the stars in the night that glisten. To you, they listen to me, you stand that I wish in. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own it. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Never let go, stand tall and hold tight. Overcoming obstacles is the objective in life. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Doubt is all the night, and onto them you shine bright. Cause inside your head, on goes the light. Ignite. Play the intuition of Absolutely brilliant work. Keep it coming. Remember, try and get it in on time for a chance to be featured in the next video. Now, today's lesson is about um, developing your tonal drawing. All right. So looking at the work that's been submitted so far and you some of you may have received different comments from either myself or Ms. Nicolau. Um, now, one of the features or one of the areas that I think we need to develop is our tonal work. So today's lesson is going to be on um, moving an image and developing that tonal work. You would have received this um, sheet um, in your Shomo homework. If you can download it um, and print it, fantastic. If not, just try and draw it completely on a separate sheet. But this is the sheet. Hopefully you had a chance to print it. Now, before we actually start, um, I just want to talk about the materials that I'm going to use. Now, for most of you, you will have just a pencil. And if you can just use a pencil like this, absolutely fantastic, that's fine. Um, those that have um, extra equipment, I know some of you do have some drawing pencils, I'm gonna try and use um, 2B, 4B, and a 6B pencil as well when building up this tonal shade. Now, the reason for that is because you get a larger depth. You may remember, um, when we were at school, we did some tonal ladders, and so you can do this as an exercise. Remember uh, that the different pencils have a different um, softness to them and in more of a deeper tone. So here is the normal HB pencil, and you can see if I try and build this up, so if I go really dark and then go lighter, lighter, and you can see I'm using the side of the pencil and try and get lighter and lighter, you can see that you get a range of tones. Hopefully you can see them kind of divided up. But it's quite gray and light. Now if I do the same technique with a 2B pencil, and hopefully you can see how much darker and a range of tones that you can get. In comparison. So this is quite harsh and this is much softer. So that was our HB, this is our um, 2B, and then if I show you the 4B, and again, you can see how much darker that is again. I'm trying to get lighter. Now remember, to create tone, you're pushing, it's how hard you push, and how, how lightly, and how much pressure you put on that pencil. So that was our 4B. And then lastly, this is my 6B, so I like to jump up. Now you can, if you wanted to play around with uh, the 3B and the um, 5B, it is completely up to you. And hopefully you can see the intensity which you can get this dark area and the gradients compared to the HB. So you can achieve a lot more. But of course, if you have only got the HB pencil, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, one thing you will notice is you, can, you get much lighter tones with the HB. So it's always kind of good to start with this and slowly work and build up. 
Was that four? Um, sorry, six B. Right then. Now, there's another thing you can do. Um, some people like doing it, some people don't. Um, you can also try and blend this by smudging with your finger and you get a more blended effect. Or if you've got a blending stick, which I know some of you got in your kits, you can blend that together as well. Or you can just use a little bit of tissue. That works just as good. Okay, so the actual task today. Now, what you're going to be asked to do is mirror this image perfectly. Now, first of all, we're going to start with is I'm going to use my HB pencil nice and lightly, and I'm going to sketch out this drawing. Okay, so I'm going to start with this part here, and it doesn't have to be super perfect, but try to mimic this shape as best you can but you know if it goes wrong don't worry about it okay so I've got that bit there got another piece make sure I don't block you so you can see another piece that comes down so that probably naturally comes out a bit more probably a bit further like that Don't be scared, you can do it roughly to start with and we can build up that tone and that shade afterwards. See, I'm quite close to this line, so I'm not quite happy with that. So this is where I am gonna use my rubber. So I'm gonna just rub that part out, just that top bit. I need to look. Now you can measure with your pencil if you want it. So you can see where the tip point is and where my finger, I can move that over so it's about here. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a normal ru ruler. That would uh, work quite well as well. So you can measure it out. Okay. Better. The hard thing with this is you're doing the opposite of what you see. That'll do. Now, even if this doesn't come out as super perfect, don't worry, because what, what, what kind of bugs or insects or anything in life are perfectly symmetrical? Look at that come up. Right there, bring that round. There you go. So you can see I'm slowly building just all the lines up and the outline shape. So now, now remember, look at all those kind of extra details. So it does kind of go up in a line like that. So I'm very lightly push the line, push the line across, and then I'm going to slowly. Build up. Now, I need a count for this one. So one, two, so I've got two sections. And then, now the shape here changes. So it's more uh, as a pointy shape. So this is more oval. And then you've got a kind of pointy shape. And then into another kind of pointy shape. And then it starts to come out a little bit more. So one, two, one, two, there we So I've got three more sections left. So another section, another section, and then last one. And then that kind of comes up and angles out. Okay, so something like that. Right, now let's get the leg in. So it's a line here. And then it comes up and it's in line with this section. Now, if you look on this side, I'm not actually quite happy with this piece. You know, I think it's shorter. So I'm gonna check my pencil 
It's this one? Yeah, it is, by that little tip there. So, use my pencil again as a marker, but it should be, should join to about here. So I need to extend that ever so slightly. There we go. Now it looks a little bit more even. And then that comes in up to about here. And it's going to come around. And then back out again. Now this is going to be kind of in line with here. So somewhere up to about there. So we do the back line. And then you've got these little jagged edges kind of up into this kind of claw. So we'd leave it like that. Okay, now this leg, same again. And this one is kind of in line with here, but at a slight angle. So we've got a bit of finger marks there. Let's get that off. <laughs> Makes it easier. Now be careful, especially when you're shading, and you do get quite a dirty finger so you might need to wash your hands frequently if it gets too messy or you can use a second piece of paper and lean on as you're drawing which is what I probably do since within my workshop I don't have a sink right let's go up put this bit in there let's put this leg piece in here What well, comes in, doesn't it? Not outwards. It's hard trying to think which way it's got to go, which direction. And then it's going to come down, but it's slightly curved. Like that. And I've done that a bit wide, but that's all right. There we go. And then you've got this. And then the other foot, see if it's aligned. Yeah, it's not too bad. Give it a little pointy feet. There you go. And then let's finish this piece off. Okay, so again, one, two, three, four sections. One. Two, three, and four. Okay, right, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, actually, I'm not too keen on this bit. Let's try that again. I've not put the angle in far enough, so I angled it in, but actually it should be more outwards. So let's just try, put that back in. So it's more at an angle like that. So it kind of curves because of that foot foot piece. I know some of you perfectionists would have noticed and it will be messing with your um, OCD vibes. So that. And then the last bit. Okay. Okay, much better. Right, a little bit bigger, but I think especially for this, and not to take too much of your time, that'll be fine. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start building up this tone. Now this is where I am going to switch to my 2B pencil. Um, you're more than welcome to continue with yours, using your HB if that's all you've got. Oh, and my pencil just broke. Let's draw my scan, sharpen. Any sharp that doesn't wanna work. Let's try, not sharp that. Sorry guys, it's not Okay. Right. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly build up this area. Now, I'm gonna just start with this middle section first. Um, Cause it's, it's, we're not gonna dive straight into this part, but I think this bit's Quite a nice piece to do. Now, can you see the reflections? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly outline where those reflections are. And I'm going to try and avoid 
um, going into them. And with this, it's always good to start lightly and then go bigger. Now you can see the reflection reflection there and you've also got this little curve reflection that's kind of in there as well. So we want to avoid there. Now I'm going to slightly start to kind of build up the shade. I'm going to do it nice and lightly to start with. If, because what we don't want to do is we don't want to go straight in too dark because you can't go back. Not really. It's hard. So I'm just going to lightly shed that in. And it's all kind of one tone. Now I'm going to start pushing harder. So a little bit more pressure in those darker areas. And looking at roughly where that kind of shade is. Try it around. And you can see, and I want to try and blend it as well. So it's gradual. So it doesn't look like there's one line and then there's next tone of lines. So I'm slowly building this up, nice and lightly, slowly pushing harder each time. You can see it's slowly getting darker and darker. Now you can see as also with this tone, tonal drawing, is I can't quite get the dark tone with this pencil, which is almost impossible. Can't get that kind of black that I'm hoping for. But hopefully you can see it's starting to look a little bit more mirrored and realistic as I slowly work over. Right, now this is where I'm gonna to switch to my 5B. And again, I'm gonna just build that tone up, especially around those edges, because it's those on those edge parts, that's the intense part. Okay. So you can see. Now, I haven't quite got this curve in, but never mind. There you go. We've got that range. And then I'm going to go a little bit with my 6B. And this is where I'm going to push really hard in those dark parts. Can you see how dark that gets? And you can really get that intense black tone with that 6B pencil. But you can't really get with a... Um, normal HP pencil. Right. So hopefully you can see how well that comes up. And I'm going to blend that a little bit. Going over. And there we have. So now one thing I do want to do is I want to put the highlight in. And this is where you can use your rubber and you can use the corner of the rubber just to lift up and create those super white sections as well. And you get like this. Now I need to add a little tone in here because that's not quite mirrored, but I think that'll do. Right, now it doesn't matter. Now I haven't got it super perfect, so you can see here yeah, I should have probably brought this out a bit more, but it's still quite effective and fairly even. Okay, so on the next part, I'm going to speed up the video because you don't want to be watching me try and shake.
Okay, so that is all. Hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to your submissions. See you next week.